and welcome to Texas. Hey folks, I'm Robert Lewis and welcome to Texas. Now it's my privilege today to introduce you to the other two members of the Lone Star Surf and Turf Adventure crew, Gabe Aguilar and Brenda Dugan. Now Gabe and I have been friends for several years now and Brenda and I have been friends for several months now. <laughs> but it didn't take me long to figure out that these two great American hunters share my passion for the outdoors and I'll tell you, they really fit nicely around here. Now, some of you may remember Gabe. He appeared in a couple of episodes of Lone Star Surf and Turf Adventures a few years back. And Gabe's a great hunter and a really good fisherman too. And Brenda's been in the hunting industry for over 30 years now, and she's a great hunter. And she's hunted all over the country too. Now we've all just returned from a long hard hunt in the Texas Hill Country where Gabe was after a scimitar horned oryx and Brenda was going to look for an opportunity on either an axis buck or a black buck antelope or even an oryx too. But you know this hunt was so hard it took Brenda two trips down to Texas to get this thing done. Now, as I've mentioned before, the scimitar horned oryx is extinct in its homeland of Africa, but they just seem to be thriving here in Texas with tens of thousands of them roaming the Lone Star State. And you know, it's always exciting to go behind one of the many high fences here in Texas. These exotic animals are just beautiful and so much fun to hunt. And you know, it seems all of these exotic animals really do well here in the Lone Star State. Now, thanks for joining us on this week's adventure, folks, and I hope you enjoy your visit to Rock Springs, Texas. Lone Star Surf and Turf Adventures is brought to you by Ten Point Crossbow Technologies, Rage Broadheads, Carbon Express, Arrows and Bolts, Vortex Optics, and these other fine sponsors. Welcome to Texas, y'all. Good to see you. When Robert asked me if I wanted to go to Texas, I was on board. I was on the flight before he even got done with the conversation. How are you? I'm good. I'm pretty good. Nice to meet you. You had to work or what? Come on. <laughs> yeah, you got to pay the bills. Priority right here. Gabe Aguilar. Gabe, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hunter Brown. Hunter, you running with Kyle Kip? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Mitch, how you doing? Looking good, buddy. Well, let me keep you. Get All right, here. you need a minute to go shoot everything. I got to powder up here. I got to do, do my hair and stuff. Well, it's going to take a while. We'll yeah. probably have an animal down right here. Then we fix it.
morning. I'm about to head out. This is my first hunt. I was a little bit late yesterday, so I got put in timeout. Uh, the other guys went and chased a, uh, a black buck. So uh, this morning we're going out looking for a, a oryx. This ranch has uh, quite a few of them, so it's going to be a great morning. A little foggy, but uh, we're going to have some fun. Stay with us. So this right here is some of the uh, finest dried sausage you'll ever put in your mouth. And it is from uh, Kep's Quality Processing in New Braunfels. Kyle Kep, uh, he's the owner of the joint. And uh, he's got homemade, when I say homemade, bacon. He will actually bring in slabs of hog and cure it. And then he'll make you some of this stuff. And you got taxidermy there and everything. So he does a dang good job. This stuff is good and good for you. She's looking back. Uh, 
I'm not sure which one she is. Oh. <laughs> you put the camera right above me. This is camera. Put the camera right above me. Oh, yeah, you got a clearance for a shot. Your Honor. That's, that's her. her. He's on her. Okay, you ready? HYB, baby. Heck yeah, baby. Come on. Good shot. Oh. This anxiety and the excitement. Whew. That was intense. There was a bunch of animals stacked right on top of one another. Man, you can really mess that up if you're not communicating with your team on the Tell right me about line. it. Whew. I think I came a little bit back off the shoulder. We're going to call that uh, Oryx fever, and we're going to be okay with it. Is that what God had in, plan in store? Can you thank him? Thank you. That was beautiful. Good job, Hunter. Way to be hey, patient. That that wasn't much me. That, I wouldn't have been able to hit that one. <laughs> well, let's go make sure I hit the right one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nestor, for not showing up. Nestor took a break. That's a good one. Yeah, that meat's going to be something, too. Still shaking. <laughs> We're gonna edit that out of the film. I want to know how we get our hands on some of the meat. Well, you know, I'm pretty thirsty right now. You know, if you brought me a water. You know, maybe I. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll run to the truck. You know, all that cute talk about how cold it was this morning. That's gone. I'm sweating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Welcome to Texas. Yeah. We just finished our hunt at the Square H Ranch, and uh, I can't say enough about this place. I can't say enough about the guide, and we put in some work today. I was in timeout yesterday because I got here late, so I didn't get to hunt till this morning, and it is now slightly after two o'clock. We've been working. We've had several setups, and something just didn't go right, whether it was a little bit of brush in between us or, or the animals didn't cooperate. Um, it's, it's kind of a teamwork deal whenever you're trying to look at a herd of animals and the guide sees one thing and the hunter sees another thing and it takes a lot of communication to make sure you get on the right animal all while you're trying to be quiet. But it came together here today and man, I'm, I'm thrilled. I've never killed an animal like this. And you know, I'm doing a little research. You can't go hunt these animals in their native land. It's ranches like y'all's that keeps the, the population healthy and available to, to guys like us that have a chance to come out and harvest it. And, it's not only an amazing trophy, but the, it's excellent table fare, as you've told me oh, before. Yeah. It's as good as it gets, for sure. And Texas' biggest success story for our Texas ranches, the exotic industry, is this animal right here. Under 100 of them were brought in the United States, late 60s, I think it was, and now probably 16,000 of them in the state. That's impressive. Yep. And they're not available anywhere else? No, nope, extinct Just... in the wild. and. They're, they're thriving here for sure. We there, brought them back. There was a failed attempt by the opposition to, uh, to t even take them off of the list where guys like you could sell them not too many years ago, but right. luckily uh, uh, they're back on, on the available list and we're able to come out here and harvest them. And man, we saw some amazing animals and just the population looks to be in good shape. And I think you picked us out the right one and I'm just as tickled as all get out. So for sure. great hunt, man. Really yeah, enjoyed it. You bet. Had a good time. Very excited about the hunt. We came about a month ago. Uh, we were originally after the Axis buck. 
or black buck. And um, we hunted hard. We hunted hard uh, for several days that we were here and just did not get an opportunity to close the deal. And so this time around, when we got to come back, the Oryx was added to the list. We could get an Axis, a Black Buck, or an Oryx. So we went into Saturday. Around midday, we had just a absolutely incredible opportunity. We had several Axis uh, come out in front of us, but they were stacked. And when they were stacked like that, you can't take a ethical shot because you take the risk of hitting multiple animals. But then these two bucks started fighting, so that was absolutely incredible. And the first time I've ever seen that happen. And they were standing straight up. Uh, one had already lost his rack, and the other one was letting him know that he was in charge now. So we didn't get an opportunity to shoot there, but I was squeezing hard. I was ready to go. And then Sunday morning, yes, uh, this morning, we got up and we said a prayer. Robert and I said a nice prayer. We'd had a long talk with God. I think he did as well. I know I did last night and uh, what an incredible hunt. sees movement already. Oh, that's a nice one right there, looking right at us. Boy, this looks so different from when we were squatted down. Yeah. What's that over there? Is that the animal? Put your binocs up. Anybody? Yep, that's it. That's it? <laughs> yeah. Congratulations! <laughs> oh, good <laughs> shot after all. Look, that's 120 yards for a big animal like that. Oh, I was a little nervous. I thought maybe it was a little too high, but I think we got him. <laughs> Oh, so awesome. Texas has got tens of thousands of these oryx, uh, an endangered species for sure, but here in Texas they have an exemption and it allows the, the hunters to control their future. And if you're not coming in here and getting one of these animals, you're not doing your part to conserve them. It's the only way to conserve them is to uh, make them a value by uh, purchasing them. Big thing is the food though. The table fare for these Oryx is unbelievable. Yeah. And look how much food you're going to get. I am going to fill the freezer. <laughs> I am so excited. It has been a hard weekend. Uh, anyone thinks ranch hunting is easy is misguided there because it is definitely challenging. Yeah. They, uh, they know when you're here and they're very hard to get onto. So uh, we're really, really blessed and I am so excited and so thankful. 
Now that hunt turned out to be a lot harder and a lot more challenging than we thought it would be. But you know what? It was a lot more exciting and a lot more fun than we thought it would be too. So thanks to the Square H Ranch for taking care of us so well and congratulations to Gabe and Brenda on a pair of really nice Oryx. And I hope they keep their promise to get me some of that meat. And speaking of promises, y'all know that I stand on God's promises. His promise to always be with us. His promise for a hope and a future. His promise to prosper us and to keep us from harm. But you know, Jesus made a promise too. He said, in this world there will be trouble. But then he said, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So let not your heart be troubled, folks. Be of good cheer. Now, thanks for joining me on this week's show. And until next time, from somewhere down in Texas, I'm Robert Lewis. God bless you.